In this example, I need to evaluate the following expressions rounding to four decimal places. Here are my two expressions. So looking at my first expression, I have log to the base 7 of 19. Is 19 7 raised to an integer or fractional exponent? None that I can think of, so I'm going to have to use the change of base formula that says log to the base b of m equals log to the base a of m divided by log to the base a of b. So I've changed my base from b to a. Well, the only useful values of a are e, which will give me natural logs, or 10 that will give me common logs. Does it matter which of these formulas I use? No, they will both give me exactly the same answer. So let's look at our first expression, log to the base 7 of 19. I'm going to use this version of the change of base formula. So it's going to give me the natural log of the argument divided by the natural log of the base. So now I need to go get my calculator. So here's my calculator. I need to put in the natural log of 19. Here's the natural log key. So I hit natural log, but notice it opens a parentheses directly after the natural log. So since it opened a parentheses before the 19, I need to close it after the 19. The same in the denominator. Since the calculator opens a parentheses before the 7, I need to close it after the 7. So I've already got the natural log. So now I'm going to put 19. You must close those parentheses. Divide it by the natural log of 7 natural log 7, close parentheses. Now hit enter. This is my answer. I need to round it to four decimal places. So one, two, three, four, that's the one position. This four is not going to round one up. It's going to leave it as it is. So my answer is going to equal 1.513. One. So that's the answer to part A. I just want to show you if I'd have used this formula, would I get the same answer? Hopefully, but let's check it. The common log of 19 divided by the common log of 7, did it give me the exact same answer? Yes, so it doesn't matter which of the formulas you pick. So now going on to part B, I need to find log to the base half of 1.7. So I'm going to use the second version this time using the common log. So it's going to equal the common log of 1.7. And remember, the calculator is going to open parentheses here, so I'm going to close them after divided by the common log of my base, which is one half. And so now all I have to do is put that in the calculator. So here's the common log of 1.7, close the parentheses, divided by the common log of my base, which is one divided by two. And hit enter. Here's my answer, one, two, three, four. So this three is not going to change the five. So my answer is negative 0 0.7655.